Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Roman Missal. It's a movable feast, so it isn't one of those that's really easy to find uh, just by the date. So, anyway, sorry to keep you all. The Lord be with you. And and bring us to everlasting life. You will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us. ...of His love for us. May Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord, your God. He has chosen you from all nations on the face of the earth to be a people particularly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from a place of slavery and ransomed you at the hand of the Pharaoh, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand, then, that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation towards those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repay with destruction a person who hates him. He does not daily do such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is, The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord's Lord, kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. 
Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear Him. Let's read the first letter of St. John. Beloved, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so we, that we might have life through Him. And this is love. We love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we, must also, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and His love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in Him and He in us, that He has given us His Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent His Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in Him and He in God. We have come to know and believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. since I came to a, uh, an awareness of, of this, this gospel passage about the yoke, um, I have prayed it over and over again. It's, it's, uh, this passage that we just heard is in the, uh, the Anointing of the Sick booklet. It's the, the scripture that is recommended for priests in, in uh, praying the Anointing of the Sick. And it's a beautiful image uh, when you're gathered around somebody that is, is uh, sick, uh, sometimes on their deathbed, family gathered around them to give them this image that Jesus said, take my yoke upon your shoulders. When I was little growing up on a farm, I always thought of a yoke as that which was uh, placed on the shoulders of beasts of burden to weigh them down to make them just their life miserable. After they got the yoke put on them, they had to go to work. Um, but I come to realize later 
the science involved with the yolk is that uh, an animal uh, that was yoked up with another could do over twice as much. They could pull over twice as much as what they could do by themselves. The horsepower, if you will, uh, isn't just uh, added by one, but it's, it's more than that. Uh, and Jesus is using that image for us and saying, take my yoke upon your shoulders. And so how much more can we do, not just yoking up with another person, but yoking up with Jesus? And that's what we're invited to do. I often times uh, gathered around a hospital bed or gathered around a, uh, uh, someone who is sick at home, uh, encourage the family members to yoke up with one another, to recognize Jesus in each other. And so I give them this outward image of that, putting arms across each other. But of course, now I can't do that so much. We're, with social distancing, we recognize that we truly are more dependent on God on yoking up with Jesus, because, you know, we're, we're being kept from yoking up with each other. Unless, of course, you're uh, in that intimate household uh, grouping. Um, and so, on this Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, this is the invitation to us. To, to yoke up with Him, to recognize that that. His burning heart for us, His love that is, is inflamed for each and every one of us individually, continues to invite us in to come closer and closer into an intimate connection. That's the invitation to us. And then, after we receive, we are always, 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 sent out to do, right? Not just to go, oh, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Uh, but we are called to go out and con to continue to love. Even when we cannot embrace others and put our arm on their shoulder, we're still called to do what we can to continue to uh, allow people to see the love that we have, the love that we have received from the Sacred Heart of Jesus for our good and the good of the whole world. So let us pray for the church throughout the world that Christians everywhere will continue to uh, respond positively to the, the, the invitation from the, the Sacred Heart of Jesus to go deeper in love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Pope Francis, for Archbishop Lucas, for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith, that they will continue to inspire us to respond to the invitation from the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who uh, are in need of God's healing touch at this time, uh, especially those who are sick and are not able to be surrounded by their loved ones. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's continue to pray for uh, vocations to the priesthood and religious life, for Thomas and Paul and Patrick and Luke and Min. Ryan, Andrew, Trevor, Christian, Jacob, Gilbrian, and for vocations from our beloved Sacred Heart Parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions that we hold in our heart on this, the, the uh, solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, for this let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, for the Richardson family, we pray. Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns forever. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise the Lord in his name. For our good and the world of the church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an ex expiation of our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a As without end we acclaim. For the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts. We pray, your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, it's in memory of me.
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope. And the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my word, but I only say the word of my soul shall be
you make your spiritual communion at home, I'll offer some reflection music. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Right after Mass, we'll be uh, uh, having an uh, hour of adoration um, from the Blessed Sacrament. Um, I encourage those of you that uh, are homebound or are not uh, going out to uh, really spend some time with the, uh, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, if you can, throughout this day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. In our prayer for vocations, God our Father, you made each, each of us to receive our gifts in the body of Christ. We ask that you inspire young people, whom you call to the priesthood and consecrated life, to courageously follow your will. Send workers into your great harvest, so that the gospel is preached, the poor are served with love, the suffering are comforted, and your people are strengthened by the sufferings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Have a great day, everybody.